why don't we begin? My name is Christine Boylan. I'm the director of our language learning center here at Bryn Mawr. I'm also a Russianist by training, so I'm looking forward to our two presentations today. And I'll be the one asking about non-Romanized uh, alphabet and writing systems at the end, just to give you fair warning. Uh, but we have two presentations today. Our first presentation is by Ying, uh, Ying Wang. Close enough? Um, thank you. From Mount Holyoke College. And she'll be talking about incorporating online materials and digital learning assessment tools into advanced Chinese newspaper reading and news watching. So because we just have the two presentations, we'll let them go a little bit longer, so about half an hour for this presentation, and then half an hour for the next, still with about 15 minutes for questions. Thank you so much. Uh, in fact, actually, this presentation will be um, um, done by not just me, and also my colleague, uh, Lisa Xu. And so I'll be probably talking about the first 20 minutes, and she'll be <laughs> elaborating more further. Uh, with some um, information about technology and also the survey of our research project. Uh, so uh, here we have this uh, title, it's Incorporating Online Materials and uh, Digital Learning and Assessing Tools into Advanced Chinese Newspaper Reading and uh, News Watching. Uh, news Watching. So this, um, in fact, is a year-long uh, research project uh, supported and funded by uh, the Five College Consortium, uh, Consortium and uh, Madden Grant. And so um, basically we wanted to deal with um, um, some pedagogical, I guess, uh, difficulties of the so-called advanced um, uh, level Chinese. Uh, uh, specifically focusing on uh, newspaper reading and also um, basically news video watching, uh, news video watching. And so here um, we want to find um, outlook online the difficulty uh, we uh, difficulties were actually we uh, faced. Uh, in teaching such a course, uh, in teaching advanced level Chinese news reading. Uh, so basically we deal with uh, one, obviously uh, not only uh, newspaper reading, but also news reading watching, we deal with uh, really large vocabulary. Uh, not only large, but also formal style. Uh, because we do have, in the lower level, uh, we teach our students uh, more of the so-called spoken style. And then when we move to the advanced level, we pretty much deal with written style. Uh, written style, which is quite different from the spoken style. Uh, and so that's one difficulty, large vocabulary, different style. And um, uh, again, um, so the vocabulary in the so-called news reports is very time sensitive. In other words, it changes very quickly. Uh, it's probably the most time sensitive um, group of the words we, we deal with. And so that's another um, difficulty. The other one we deal with is actually the so-called uh, limited materials available. Um, in the so-called traditional instructional materials. Uh, so basically, uh, usually when um, an instructor decides to offer a course in advanced level dealing with uh, newspaper reading, so they uh, typically they probably get a textbook and pretty much just using um, the, I guess, texts. Uh, so um, already, I guess, you know, added it. Uh, and um, so it's actually, um, in other words, the traditional teaching instructional materials are very uh, limited in, in many ways. Although right now we're dealing with the internet, 
you know, online materials are ex, um, expo exploding. Uh, there are like tons of materials available online, but uh, without education, without uh, support, uh, uh, it's very difficult for our students to use them, uh, even like, uh, you know, without careful selection. So for our project, we decided to incorporate uh, three so-called uh, blended learning components into the so-called traditional classroom teaching. So the three components include online video, video news, subtitling, and summarizing. And the second component is the digital exercise and assessment system. Number three, computerized vocabulary learning module tailored to the course materials used for, in fact, we um, originally decided to do two courses, but we ended up doing one course. Uh, and so the project was basically carried out in the advanced Chinese course uh, taught at Mahono College, um, which is learning Chinese through newspapers. So the goals of this project are uh, uh, number three. Number one, as I just mentioned, that there are like uh, several difficulties uh, basically uh, faced by the instructors to teach a course like that. And so we want to support the linguistic skill development by providing students with a more extensive context and wider exposure through the proposed blended learning strategies uh, or components. Number two, to improve student engagement by empowering them with some digital self-learning and assessing tools. And number three, to explore new teaching methodologies and share our pedagogical experiments with larger teaching and learning communities. Uh, so um, some of the, like, uh, uh, among the three components of this is the vocabulary learning module is very new, but I think it has great potential. So we had the hope, we are still hoping that, you know, some of our colleagues would, um, in, like, uh, in the future, join us to further develop uh, this kind of uh, learning tool, uh, learning tool. So I'm going to describe specifically the three components. Uh, so number one, we call it online video news, subtitling, and summarizing. So basically, <clears throat> we actually included and incorporated two so-called uh, uh, video, online video tasks for our students. Uh, so traditionally, uh, those are those were not available, uh, not uh, adopted into the classroom uh, teaching in such a class. So the first one uh, is called video subtitling. So basically it requires students uh, to repeatedly watch the selected short news report. Usually we uh, selected a, a piece that is about two minutes long, a very short piece. And uh, with already uh, with captions in Chinese. Uh, and then after, you know, repeatedly watching the piece, and students are, are asked to provide English subtitles for the, uh, for the video, uh, for the videos. So basically, uh, this kind of like task, we, we were thinking uh, to um, basically help students with their comprehension of the news watching, so because they have to repeatedly watch this piece of news, and they try to understand the caption uh, in Chinese, and then secondly, to improve their translation skills from Chinese to English. Uh, uh, so we used uh, some uh, technology, include uh, YouTube video, Google video notes, or embedded too by Phoenix 
video. So Phoenix Video is actually a Chinese news agency, Fenghuang uh, Weishu. So Fenghuang uh, Shipi. So um, that is available uh, to us. So that's the first uh, video uh, test. The second one is called video summarizing. Basically, requires our students to repeatedly watch a news discussion. So this one, we're dealing with a much longer piece, a much longer piece, uh, about 20 minutes long. Uh, after watching this piece, uh, students are asked to identify the main ideas. Not every word, but the main ideas of this piece. And orally summarize the video in Chinese. Uh, so this is not written task. This is actually an oral uh, uh, assignment. So the purposes of this task uh, include to capture the main ideas of the discussion on a related topic, and number two, to improve the oral presentation skills in Chinese. Uh, in Chinese. So they, they can actually use their own words to, to do um, more like you know, a report of the discussion. Uh, so we used um, voice thread and audio Dropbox uh, to do that. So here I want to show you an example of the online video subtitling. So here is, you know, uh, you know, you have this uh, reporter actually reporting uh, a piece of news, and here you have the Chinese caption part. And students, uh, after repeatedly watching that, so they translate uh, the Chinese caption into English. Uh, so that's the uh, video subtitling. So the second component, we call it digital exercise and assessment system. Uh, so this is actually, um, uh, we can say it basically, uh, traditional exercise and quizzes or test, tests, right? But we um, try to uh, now provide students digitized exercises and uh, self like quizzes or tests. Uh, so including basically four parts. Uh, number one, word themes. Number two, vocabulary. Three, syntax usage at the surface level. So moving from morphine to vocabulary to words, and then to sentence, and then eventually to discourse, uh, or essay uh, convers uh, conversation. Uh, Next, are basically, uh, we, um, the instructor publishes uh, uh, the exercises and uh, or the tests on the course Moodle sites, and then, Students are asked to complete the assignments uh, by certain time, uh, by certain time. And feedback, all of the exercises and tests are corrected by computer, except for the uh, composition part. So the, you know, basically uh, question and answer kind of like um, paragraph. Uh, usually students need to write a paragraph. And so technology, we use Moodle quiz. And so here, uh, give you, um, I guess, you know, some idea how we do that. Uh, so here, uh, so matching, uh, we use matching multiple choice, and that's for vocabulary. And here we use a class, kind of like format uh, for grammar, uh, dealing with grammar. And here we have uh, basically, uh, writing, uh, writing sample, uh, like one writing sample from a, a student. Uh, students are given questions here in Chinese and are provided with some words, uh, useful words for, for responding to uh, the question. And then uh, they're supposed to write the piece uh, to respond to that question. Here is actually a feedback given by the instructor. Uh, comments, and maybe she, she made some mistakes, and, and uh, the instructor will 
correct that mistake here. Uh, so that's the complete uh, piece for the um, exercise and assessment. The third component, we call it, this is a pretty new, uh, even the idea is new, it's called uh, the computerized vocabulary learning module. Uh, um, so in fact, this so-called uh, vocabulary module uh, is consists about two parts. The first part, the computer mediated glossaries. This is actually available already. Uh, it's not our creation. But then the online vocab vocabulary activities is, is actually our creation. Uh, um, so um, the benefits of creating this computerized vocabulary learning module include, number one, to enrich the vocabulary learning by providing the context of the different word usages. Um, and number two, to, to extend the vocabulary learning by allowing students to sort out different uh, thematic elements and relations, such as morphemes, uh, antonyms, and uh, uh, synonyms, and homonyms, uh, reading expressions, uh, spoken expressions, uh, etc. Number three, to provide a uh, resource for both instructors and students. Uh, technological support, we use uh, Moodle activity glossary and Moodle course size. I want to elaborate a little further about this whole idea. Basically, um, in the past, when we teach, we give students um, a piece of text. Usually, there's only uh, when we deal with a vocabulary, like a vocabulary list. Uh, probably provided with, for instance, like pronunciation, uh, part of speech, and uh, English translation. For Chinese, we also sometimes uh, uh, provide students with both written styles. So we have like simplified characters and traditional characters, whatever. So that's it. Uh, however, uh, we, we uh, thought that that wasn't really a very effective way of learning vocabulary, because you know, you took vocabulary out of the context. So now we try to provide the students with some kind of like association, uh, collocation, whatever, you know, to try to help them to learn the vocabulary um, with certain context or association, uh, or like in relation with some other expressions. For instance, like if they learned abstract learning, we probably provide them, provide them with uh, concrete uh, concrete vocabulary, uh, and if they learn, you know, written expression, we try to provide them with spoken expression. So we're like, you know, opted words or similar words, and so um, and particularly providing them with, um, um, you know, syntax, not just you know, uh, uh, semantics, but also syntax. In other words, like put the words in into uh, like phrases or sentences, and so try to help them with the learning. Uh, so here we have, again, the example of the so-called module, uh, vocabulary module. So um, we try to, um, to provide all of the information. Of course, it depends on the specific uh, word. Uh, sometimes the word, uh, you can only have um, certain numbers of the things you can provide them for. But basically, here you have a list, pinyin, which is the romanization system for Chinese, uh, Mandarin, and part of speech. And those are basically, um, you know, I guess traditional ways of, uh, uh, you know, helping uh, pronunciation. But here, we actually, we are able to include audio uh, recording. Um, even like in the past, that was a little Available and so uh, both characters, meanings, and then above here is more traditional. And then we have like we provide morphemes, uh, words by association, collocation, written versus spoken expressions, and sentences. And sometimes we even try to provide more stimulating kind of like image, uh, image for them to 
to have a better, a better understanding of the world. Uh, here, I want to show you basically a map of the workflow. Uh, how the so-called three components, uh, blended learning components, can be incorporated into the classroom teaching. So here, uh, we're talking about the whole cycle. So the whole cycle is actually two weeks uh, and six meetings, uh, six meetings of class, and dealing with two pieces of the news reports. Uh, uh, so the two pieces of news reports are related, uh, uh, dealing with the same topic, but one is the main text, the other one is supplementary. And so here, for four, so there are like uh, a parts in red, a parts in black. So the parts in red, we're talking about so-called blended learning. In other words, we try to ask students to use online learning tools. And so the, the parts in black are traditional classroom teaching. So they're totally blended together. Uh, so before day one, students need to do online learning on their own. So basically, they're dealing with so-called uh, already digitized text. Uh, so they do preparation uh, for the text and vocabulary, and actually they need to uh, respond to some comprehensive questions about that piece of text. Then we are moving into day one. So we have day one, day two, we can see actually traditional classroom teaching dealing with text, grammar, and vocabulary in the classroom. But when they go home, they actually need to do uh, so-called online learning. Uh, so day one, they deal with the text, vocabulary, uh, basically answering comprehensive questions, comprehension questions. And day two, they actually need to do the video subtitling project when they go home. Day three, uh, in classroom, discussion and check video subtitling in class. And then when they go home, they need to do more. Uh, so vocabulary exercise with support of the vocabulary learning module. Two, online grammar, reading, and writing exercises. We're talking about the digitized exercises. Three, supplementary. So they need to preparation for the supplementary text. Uh, by going online. And so then day four, um, in class, uh, and so they have supplementary text reading and also discussion. Uh, when students go back, they need to do uh, the video discussion piece. Uh, so then uh, the, assignment, the assignment is to do the summary in Chinese. Uh, and day five, extensive discussion in class, uh, basically focusing on both texts, the same topic. Uh, and then vocabulary quiz. When they go, go home, they reveal, uh, they do online reveal uh, with the help of the PPT notes and also the vocabulary learning module. And day six, comprehensive quiz, and then they start uh, next cycle. So that's the whole uh, map of the uh, of the uh, whole cycle, uh, learning and teaching cycle. Um, the last one I want to show you is uh, basically a web page of the blended learning activity. So, so here you have pretty much like the students, but well, student um, students watch well, like when they uh, faced uh, dealing with the course. So here is the text basically already digitized. Uh, and so they, they do the reading here, and here is the so-called glossary, uh, uh, both the so-called uh, Moodle glossary and also like the vocabulary learning module. And here they do pretty much everything, like the digitized exercises itself, uh, quiz, and they do the video parts here, uh, and so pretty much these are the exercise part here. Um, so then I will give the floor to my colleague. Okay, I'm going to uh, briefly discuss about the uh, technologies, tools we use for designing the blended tasks and the 
a survey we uh, conducted by the four, uh, by the end of four semester in 2014 to understand uh, whether uh, to get student perceptions about whether their uh, learning goal got reached and their, their effectiveness of their uh, blended approach we applied in the project. So uh, basically the design is uh, try to pro provide online the learning resources. Uh, this design considering series and research findings in areas including Chinese formal language instruction, co-assisted vocabulary learning and blended tasks and uh, technologies. So uh, as uh, uh, Professor In uh, In Wong uh, uh, introduced, we uh, adopted an integrated pattern and tasks which include the pre and post activities uh, between face to face class and online learning. So these tasks basically serve as a consolidation, review, or follow up, follow up publication of the classroom portions of tasks. Uh, and also, we use the online learning platform, including Moodle, Google, uh, Google Site, and the Drive. Uh, at the end of the semester, we uh, did a survey about student perceptions, also uh, taking take that perception into consideration for further uh, modification of the project. So uh, the blended task and technologies, we try to create self-paced learning environments and accommodate varying professions levels in Chinese, uh, in advanced Chinese level class. Also uh, provide learning aids, including e-grocery, we just talked about, also video transcripts and e-exercises with uh, synchronous and asynchronous feedback also, we use authentic materials. Uh, students basically watch their online video and uh, will do the subtitling and the summarized uh, activities. So the blended task and technologies, uh, uh, we, we use their uh, Moodle plugins, including uh, Moodle Glossary. We use that to design online vocabulary learning module. Uh, we use Google Quiz to design online exercises. So basically, I'll show you just, just uh, an example of their Moodle, uh, Moodle glossary. So if you add a new uh, entrance, you, you uh, get a uh, window to, to um, design their, the vocabulary module. And then uh, if you go to their Moodle quiz, you can choose a different um, uh, exercise format. For example, multiple choice and matching and their, uh, the short answer or show force question questions to design the quiz. Um, so another um, learning platform uh, is Google Apps. So we use Google's uh, site to share online news video resources, use Google Drive and Doc to share video transcript. Uh, also students will share news video subtitling. Uh, if their video has their, um, has, does not has their caption, so we use their Google Doc to share their, um, their captions we provide, the Chinese captions. So students use uh, watch video and uh, read these captions and then to translate them to the to English subtitle. <coughs> and if their um, video has caption, we use their uh, an app called Video Note uh, provided by Google. So basically the video will be shown here and their students uh, give their uh, English subtitling here and they share with instructor and with their peers. For their another tool we use called uh, Audacity. So it's uh, an uh, audio editor and a recorder. So students or instructor can uh, uh, can record their the voice, like uh, read the vocabulary to make vocabulary uh, uh, online audio like file. Or students can use that to uh, express their ideas and share with instructor. Another uh, tool we use is called a voice thread. So we use that for the uh, student to do their exercise, which is a vocabulary summarizing exercise. Also, they can uh, their instructor can give comments. So this is an example. So um, students watch their video and then they can use uh, different tools. Their their um, voice thread provide, for example, their microphone, their webcam, or the text, or the audio upload to uh, express their ideas. So basically, when they do, after they done their exercise, each student voice will be here. So if you click, so they will, um, you, you can hear the voice here. So and their, then their instructor can listen to their uh, 
opinions also then comment on their um, uh, language. So you can use their text or so their uh, micro microphone to record yourself uh, to give the comments or collect their grammars and letters they made. Uh, so um, at the end of the semester, we did a survey, but basically the assessment of um, the assessment for this project includes three parts. So first, the student surveys to gather student perceptions, uh, also gather faculty's comments and suggestions of their improvements of the project. Uh, also, we'll um, conduct their language tests as assessment tools of students' language achievements. So the first uh, survey uh, was did uh, was done uh, done by um, the end of uh, semester of uh, 2014. So uh, basically, it's, uh, there are three parts. So first, uh, um, some statements about uh, course objectives, uh, blended task and technology, also the e Uh The subject include. Um, Seven students. Uh, this kind, this sample is kind of small, but since it's ongoing project, so we'll continually get in their data and their, um, get their ideas. Uh, so the questionnaire uh, is composed of several um, statements. Then students give their their opinions. Um, so the first part is um, course objectives. So basically, students choose um, uh, their um, Ideas about whether they agree or disagree their um, their statements uh, fall, and then they uh, indicate the strengths of their agree or disagreement. So, um, so the three parts I think students give very positively uh, evaluation to the project. So you can see uh, this is the course objective, and there are six out of ten, uh, seven students uh, strongly agree, and there. Uh, then for this second, there's three out of seven, and there are four out of seven, and five out of seven. And then there are uh, blended tasks and technologies. Also, uh, we try to get students' idea about their um, their um, approach. We uh, we applied, for example, e uh, for example, their e exercise and their audio file. These kind of strategies we use. I think it's very positive uh, evaluation. Uh, for e grocery, we just talked about, so um, six out of seven students uh, think e grocery are very uh, useful, uh, support um, support their vocabulary learning. Uh, for example, um, e grocery supports to extend the vocabulary by providing different uh, semantic elements and these. So we, I'm not going to read these. So I think this uh, <laughs> the evaluation is quite positive. And then, uh, as I said, the sample is kind of small in 2014, four semester. So for uh, 2014, four semester, I'm going to continue the survey, also conduct uh, like face-to-face -face interviews to get students uh, uh, deep ideas about their, their their project, and then make uh, do some modifications. Thank you. Thank you.